We've been doing this for quite a few years now. Last year we took it to Goodwood. Uh, we've been tweaking the motor dome been running on 12 volt um, out to 24 volts of the two batteries. Um, we rewired it to do that last year, uh, just before we went to Goodwood. Um, but when we got there, we'd forgotten about the heat sinks which take the heat out of the uh, motor. And so it was only designed for 12 volts and so the, the motor blew uh, while we were there and so sadly we had to um, come back and so we've been redoing the heat sinks. These are the heat sinks for the motor that we've been working on. Uh, Arthur here has just been filing them down for us because they were slightly too big. When we last ran the motor, it sort of exploded, it broke um, because it heated up too much. So I'm making the heat sinks and the bolts for the, um, to go through the heat sinks. Um, to get rid of all the heat. We have this motor which um, blew up as you can see here and here. Um, the brushes sprung out and it got too hot. <laughs> So we've got two ends basically. Yeah. This one's red, that one's black. That's fine. So we can pick up 12 volts easily enough, but we then we need to get it in series, so, so we need to go this across. This is earth, yeah. um, so with this one going there. Yeah, but we need to bridge across from here to here, yeah. so we can get it in series. As a relay, it must be working now. Must be good there. I've ordered a, a, a horn switch, I get yeah. a swift flip switch for that. And I've also ordered a, a slide on speed controller if we need it. We're looking at the efficiency curves of the motor in particular and finding what sort of speed we can get most efficiently operating. We've also control that. Toby is part of the team who's designing the, the new car, um, which we're starting from scratch. And he's going to be, he's been drawing up uh, the floor panel of the new car. This here is the beginning of the process and it is the base of the next car. If you've got something so we can sort of take here from underneath the vehicle yeah. and move it up, rather than having something dragging Sign on the outside. Aerodynamics are important because they save time when we're going around the lap. If we can save 0.1 or 0.2 seconds by going through this testing, then we have improved on the car and we will gain places and hopefully become the best team.